Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Soul Silver. I have badge number two, and it's time for us to head on to the next city. Before we do that, though, let's go to Kurt and check if he has a Pokeball for us. Before that, we will always check nearby Apricorn trees to get ourselves more Apricorns like this one, another white Apricorn for us. Now let's go and check out with Kurt. Hey Kurt, what do you have for us? Oh, Sitano! I just finished your Pokeball! Here! Get the Heavy Ball, which is very really nice. That turned out great! Try catching Pokemon with it! Oh, we will. But of course, we have more Apricorns, so let's give it to Kurt, he'll make it to Pokeballs. I want to give him the White Apricorns this time. Let's give him two White Apricorns and see what that will make us. We'll take a day to make you a Pokeball. Come back for it later. Sure thing. Let's do a little change in my team for our upcoming battles. Let's get Onyx in. I want to have him on top. So, what should we do next? Oh, speaking about next. Look who's coming! We have a new Pokemon coming. It's gonna be a Togepi! So Togepi was in the egg from Mr. Pokemon all along. That's cool. Let's check out our new Togepi in action. Only level 1, that's fine. Modest nature, which means increased special attack, reduced attack. It has growth, charm, and whoa, look at this one. Extra sensory, 80 attack power, 100 accuracy, pretty good move. It seems to be good, decent Pokemon, but I'm probably not gonna use it. Anyways, we have to move on to our next town, so head west from Azalea Town to get to your next place. But before that, let's check what Professor Elm has to say about the newly hatched Pokémon. Hey, Sitano! This is great news! A Pokémon hatched from that egg! I knew that giving the egg to you, Sitano, was the right thing to do! I just knew it! You should come here and show me what kind of Pokémon it is. Oh, we will. Not now, but we will. But we'll give wait until we have HMO to fly, then we'll fly back to New York Town and show off our new Pokemon. Now we're gonna head west to Elex Forest before heading north to Goldenrod City. But before that... Our rival appears. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat him? Huh. Quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. He doesn't believe me. Well, that's gonna be his trouble. Here comes the rival battle against Silver. He has three Pokemon. The first will be a Ghastly. Rock will face Ghost and Poison. That's gonna be interesting. Let's start off first with Rock Throw, because neither of these three moves here will even work. That's because Ghost type Pokemon are mute to normal and fighting moves. Rock Throw then it is on Ghastly. Connect. Ghastly. Whoa, that's a one hit KO in Ghastly? Wow! That's pretty good. Good job, Rocky! It's 427 XP, goes to level 17. Very nice. Next, gonna learn Rock Tomb. Let's see and check what Rock Tomb even does. 50 power, 80 accuracy, reduces speed upon hit. Also, 50 power, 90 accuracy. No extra bonus there. Okay, I guess we can keep it if we want to feel doing it. Reducing speed is fine, but it has reduced for accuracy though, which is a bit lame. But Rock Tomb can be used. Oh, Bayleaf is next. That's not what we want to face. Bayleaf is a grass type Pokemon, that's gonna really crush us. We should be able to face up against the Bayleaf though. Actually, maybe we can just keep on with Rocky here. Actually, let's just stick with uh, Onyx. Maybe a bit of a sacrifice, but that's mainly because if we manage to survive a hit or two, we can actually try to debuff him. Let's give up a Screech. Screech on Bayleaf, which reduces defense by two levels. Bayleaf with Razor Leaf. Let's see if we even survive this. I don't think we will. Razor Leaf connects on Onyx. Oh, he does survive. Amazing. Let's do Screech again. Ah, oh, it missed. Razor Leaf missed as well. Let's Screech again. It hits. Reduce defense by another two levels down to four now. If it raise that's my KO Rocky. 
unfortunately, but that was a good sacrifice because Bailiff is annoying both. Now what will we take next for uh, for Bailiff? Then we'll pull options. We go to Dial, that's gonna be a bad thing. Marip doesn't really have any good moves, too low level, Toki obviously is gonna be a squash. Beedrill, actually we'll try, but I think I'll go with Pidgey first versus Bayleaf. Bayleaf versus Pidgey, I'm gonna do a side attack first. Reflect from Bayleaf, which would increase defense by a third. Side attack on Bayleaf to reduce his accuracy so that he won't be able to hit us with his move. Let's do it again. Poison powder does connect on Pidgey, which means Pidgey will be poisoned. Pidgey then will side attack number two, reduce accuracy again on Bailiff. We will have less chance to hit its attacks. Poison text on Pidgey, takes four damage. Let's try out our attacks now. We can go with Gust, but the problem with Gust, as you probably have seen before, I can only show you right now. Check the Gust, it's a special attack. Reduce defense, and the Reflect has no effect with the Gust. Let's try a quick attack instead. Doesn't do that blood damage, but uh, that's fine. Red Slave miss. Poison text on Pidgey. Let's try it again. Bailiff with Synthesis, which is one of the bigger problems by fa facing off against Bailey here. Bailiff Synthesis can heal himself up, but it doesn't have unlimited Synthesis PP, though. Only about 10, I think. That means he can't keep healing himself. Basically, stole you for as long as he wants while the poison takes off. Smart now, I'll take away the poison, but then he can just poison powder me again. Let's see a bit. Oh, that's a nice hit, but Synthesis is going to take away all the greatness from that stupid Bailey. Freaking tiresome Pokemon to face. Poison keeps ticking and I'm below half health. Maybe we should just take away the um, poison after all. Let's take away the Let's do Antidote on Pidgey. Poison will be gone. The battle continues. Reflect again. He doesn't want his defense to go much lower, so that's that's fine. Let's try the gust now, see how much it does to compare comparison. It comes to poison powder. Which means that we'll be poisoned again. So see the poison curing was kind of a waste. It's just gonna poison powder us again, so a bit of a waste. Yeah, Gust doesn't really do a lot more damage than Quake Attack, mainly because of the reduced defense by Screech and the Reflect up by Bailey itself. Quick Attack again. Okay, with a Razor Leaf on Pidgey. Will it be enough to KO Pidgey? It will. Sadly, but not much we can do about it. Oh well, if you want to have a big fight, Mr. Bailey, let's fight you then. With Beedrill. Beedrill. Let us see if we get this guy poisoned. Synthesis again by Bailiff to heal itself. And uh, Beedrill will use a poison sting on Bailiff. Wow! Wow! That's a lot of damage from a level 10 Beedrill and a level 18 Meganium. No, not Megan, Bailiff. Didn't get poisoned though, but wow, that damaged him. Holy crap! That was over half the health of a Pokemon 8 levels above. A rather weak move like Poison Stick. I'll try it again. Now that, look at the damage the comparison. That was nothing. They live with another Reflect. Doesn't want to take more physical damage, but we can just keep on doing this until he's poisoned at least. Then we go Fury Attack. Get poison, please. Nope. Keep synthesize, synthesizing. That's fine. We can keep fighting. Poison Stick. Keep on ticking on that belly. We want it to get poisoned. Come on. Nope. Razor Leaf is gonna miss because of the accuracy loss. Not a poison sting. No poisons yet. Come on. Get poisoned, you freaking plant. Poison sting keeps ticking. It's doing a decent damage, but the synthesis is gonna, probably gonna be a waste. Razor Leaf again by Bailiff. Doesn't do a lot of damage because. Beedrill is a quadruple resistant to Ross, being both bug and poison is going to be an effective thing for us. Reflect goes off and it goes up again by Bailiff, wasting a turn to put up Reflect. Goes the Sting Tex on Bailiff. And there we got poisoned, finally! 
I believe he's hurt by poison, and this is, might be actually KO on the next turn. Let's test out Fury Attack on Bayleaf. Raise the leaf on Beedrill. Doesn't do him a lot of damage because... Ooh, that crit though. Still not a very effective move. Quadruple resistance helps. Fury Attack doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, maybe KO though? I think this is going to be a KO now because the poison is going to tick on Bayleaf. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, level 10 B drill beats a level 18 Bayleaf. Pokemon Logic. 543 XP on B drill. At least gonna give it to level 11. Maybe we can go over level 12, let's see. Nah, not, not quite. But that was a pretty good good run there by B drill. Let's get in Torridal now versus the Zubat. That was a very tough battle against the Bayleaf there, but that's fine. Zubat in. Totodile. Sega let Nerve come in here. Me, Nerve? You're the one who attacked me, though, Mr. Silver. Let's bite up on Zubat. Yum, yum. Come get some. Supersonic. Keep missing on Zubat. Let's keep biting. Just being missed again. This is really not the day of uh, Silver. His moves are keep missing. And not going to reflect that way. That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose the wimp like you. Then eat this, then, Mr. Tough Guy. Buy it again. Oh boy. Four supersonic misses, four bite hits. No reflect. What about wins? Huh. Use this Pokemon. Listen, to you. You only won because my Pokemon got weak. Oh, maybe you're weak. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. I think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. They get them all alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Let's go pick the good list, has to say. Liz, what do you have in store for us? Moomoo Milk. Yeah, that's cool. So there's, there's a farm further up, uh, in, after some towns, it's called Moo Moo Farm. You can buy the Moo Moo Milk there, which is one of the most cost-efficient potions you can get in the game. So we'll see if we can buy some of that later as we get to the Moo Moo Farm. It's gonna be a bit well before we go there though, but that's fine. Let's heal up our Pokémon before we move on. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, thank you for healing up my Pokémon. Rocky is back to full again. Let's bring him out. Let's check the Pokemon to see if we have some new items we can buy, maybe, now that we are two badges strong. What do you have for us? Pokeball Potion, Super Potion, Antidote, Paralyze, Seal, Awakening, Burn Hill, Escape Rope, Ice Seal. Let's get a few Escape Ropes at least so we can escape from uh, dungeons and caves. Repel, we always want. We can skip through dungeons as well. Not about too many of them though, we'll get better repels later on. Potions, let's get a few more of those, they're always nice to have. We need a bit more super potions as well. Do we need pokeballs? Yeah, we do. Let's buy six of them. And I think that's gonna be it for that. For now, so let's just uh, take it with that and let's now head west this time with no interruption. We're heading off to Elix Forest on our way to Goldenrod City where the third gym awaits. Elix Forest, let's see what we have up here. Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry. The farfish that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a the branch, they'll face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. You think you can do that? Well, we can try. Before we even want to try though, we want to put up a repel because this place does have wild Pokemon. Because we consider it in the dungeon now. There's the Farfetch'd and you see, if I step on the branch right now, the Farfetch'd will then look at our direction. If I now go on this branch, Farfetch will then see this direction. 
So how do you capture a Farfetch then? Simple. You want to make sure you stand behind it. Like this. You got it from behind before it noticed us. Pretty good. Wow, you found the Farfetch. Thank you. But there's one more missing. You step on the branch, you'll face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up its slowly from behind. Yeah, this guy has not one, but two freaking farfetched. I need to get the second one, too. Repel wars off. Let's get up another one. Let's see where the other farfetched is. Let's get an item here. And revive. Very nice. Let's see. There's the farfetched. See, we cannot really go up from behind from it. So I guess we have to try to scare it away. Let's try that. No, it's not going to run away. So what we can do is pretty simple. If we then step on this one, it's going to turn away. But there's the problem. If you do like this, it's going to turn away the same again. If you step on the bottom one, though, it won't turn away. But the thing you should do here, though, which you can't really do at the moment, is to try to step on the branch on the top there. But there's one way to do it, pretty simple. I'll show you right now. Gonna repel again. So, have it face it the way it does now. Face to the left. Then go around here, go on this branch. And you go around, and then you go around it from this way, and you got it. Cut it from behind, and we got the second farfetched. Wow, you got me both of them! Thank you so much! My boss Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew! You saved me! Ha! Huh, my farm and fetched! You found them for us, kid! Without them, we won't be able to cut trees for charcoal! Thanks, kid! Now, how can I thank you? I know! Here, take this! We get our first HM, HM01! Which is gonna be cut. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. But we do indeed, so let's just go up here. Let's go in the menu. Let's find HM01. There we go. Our second HM contains cut. What do we wanna do? We wanna teach cut to a Pokemon? We have multiple, we can use it to be drilled. And Torridal. I'm gonna give it to Torridal. Because Torridal is a better choice. And I'm gonna be using it all the time as well. It's better than Scratch. Cut this 950 power, 95 accuracy. So it's 10 power more than Scratch. A bit less accuracy, that's fine. Still high enough. So, and Torridal can now cut trees. You may wonder how do I cut trees? Simple. Just cut like this. Kaboom! And we can move on. Now wonder what the, what the hell is this thing? Elix Forest Shrine. A tribute to the Forest Protector. What's the Forest Protector, you might ask? Well, if you've seen the Pokemon movie before, you are a Pokemon called Celebi. This is where Celebi rests. If you have some special event pass, you can actually get Celebi to come here and you can catch it. Trail tips. Elix Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have dropped. Yeah, that's the truth, actually. You go for... Oh, down. Another repel. We have to use... Let's see... Did I go through it again? There we go. We just use repel. Ha! Huh. Final item, the X attack. Which would boost attacks in combat by one stage. Let's go up here. Oh, another Kimogu girl. Kinema girl, Kinema girl, lost and all alone. Paul girl lost in the dark Elex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Sure. You will. Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? 
Rob, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Our own Pokemon just showed the way for the Kindle Girl. Oh well. Good job, Onyx. Aka Rocky. You get the headbutt TM, you can headbutt trees to get items and even Pokemon. And here is the exit, which was pretty obvious to where it was. It's not repel. I didn't know more than I can do it, stack them sadly. And we're outside of the forest. You know what this means? Route 34. Next episode, we're gonna go to Route 34. We're gonna explore some new stuff before we head into Goldenrod City. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Soul Silver continues.